Thanks for staying with us. Now, planning is critical in business continuity and contingency planning is the most critical. Now, what we witness across the nation of what looked like a reprisal from the alleged shooting of the peaceful protesters where small and medium scale businesses came under heavy attack begs the question of how would one have better planned for such if there's also any strategy you know, to bounce back. We want to know that today. So let us hear what you have to say. Please remember you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at Plus TV Africa or at Wayshow Africa 1 with the hashtag Wayshow or you send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081-803-84663. So I'm going to bring in our guest in two minutes, but um, EC and, and um, um, AK. <laughs> you know, this, I, I still can't wrap my head. Mm. So after, after Friday's show last week, I got a lot of messages, people saying that, please, I need to apply. A friend of mine's store was looted, this one, that one, you know, it was overwhelming actually. And to think that these are small businesses that they're trying to, you know, survive and all of that. So I'm just wondering, is there going to be like a proper strategy to even bounce back, to come back, to say, okay, this is what I can do to put in place to, to, to start all over again? Because so for some people, they're starting from ground zero. Yeah, let me come to um, AK first. There has to be, you know, mm. just as the way you took our quote, I really can't um, say the quote word for word, yeah, but the, yeah. failure is not final. Mm -hmm. And you have to have that attitude mm -hmm. to start again. Mm. So just imagine that it wasn't um, vandalism. Let's say it was fire. Let's say it was man-made destruction. Mm. So would you fold? Would you give up? Mm. So I think that there has to be. And if there is none, then you have to find it. Mm. But you can't just lie down and give up. Mm. So there has to be. And the good thing is that we've gotten well many Nigerians coming together to put funds together. We've gotten the, the, the Lagos State Government. I don't know if they're doing it in other states, but Lagos State Government is showing an interest. And a lot of... And you the know, federal government as well. Exactly. So the federal government has that funds already to, to, to give out to people. So there is hope, but you need to you know, rekindle. For some businesses, they're not going to start from ground zero, just as you said. And as um, Charles talked about it last week, it's just to find where you're starting from. Mm. One key thing that you have mentioned that I like is having a strategy. Mm -hmm. So it must be strategic. You yeah, can't just wake up and pray and hope that it will happen. You have to plan it. Mm -hmm. And you have to, if you can afford um, business coaching or advice, this is the time. Time for it. Because you need that handled and you need someone to show you the way. Mm -hmm. You need to know what to do and Absolutely. where to start from. Absolutely. Uh, for me, I think basically um, the, the role of insurance in businesses mm. now comes to the fore because a lot of people don't understand that you having an insurance uh, with, uh, on your business mm. is very important. That will help you because in case of eventualities, you can actually call on the insurance company to actually come in. So it's a well, key I'm, I'm strategy. I'm going to ask it's this question strategy. to our guests because yes. I'm wondering that, you know, say some kind of insurance company, mm. they want to give insurance, but they don't want to pay. So they will tell you that, oh, this one does not cover. So I'm just going to ask, like, what... No, no, Uwa, so you can't blame the insurance company. <laughs> so it's like people that go to, mm. instead of full comprehensive cover on your car, you mm. choose to pay 3-5. Third, mm. third Uwa, party. When that mm. thing happens, say your 3-5 is not going to give insurance no, for 4.5 million. So, it's, so for me here, what I identify here is the education. Mm. Because if an insurance company is bound and you paid your premium, they will pay. Definitely. They have to pay. They are bounded by their word. But exactly. the thing is, what did you insure? That's the question. Mm -hmm. What did you insure? What policy is covering you? Absolutely. And I think that, you know, this, this is just going to open the door to capacity building mm -hmm. about knowing the, the right kind of thing. That's exactly. what I'm saying. It's a, it's a strategy, mm -hmm. actually. Exactly. It's a strategy. So Abayomi Adewumi is a business development consultant with vast experience working with small and medium um, skill enterprises and he's joined the conversation live in studio where so, so he was one that apologized last weekend let me just <laughs> throw him under the bus here now. <laughs> so he was supposed to be with us last weekend but he had to go and intervene i mean literally he's been busy around the clock today you also got an, another in invitation to go um to a state in in the north to also go and help with um, business strategies so he's actually a busy man so for us to have him live here in studio we are happy to have you thank you so much for joining us <laughs> for all right so you listen to our banter and um, so basically, um, because we talked a lot about the problems last week, we talked about all the things that people should put in place, and we talked about a few things that are available, like the funding, um, Lagos State Empowerment, uh, Employment Trust Funds, and all of that are available. You know, so today we, we really want to understand if I want, because that was a question I asked Charles, if I want, okay, if I have suffered this loss, is there a strategy to bounce back? And if there is, how should I go about that strategy? 
<laughs> okay, good evening, everyone. Thank you for having me here. And um, once again, I apologize for <laughs> billing okay, last week. Uh, that's why I, I ensured that I had to make it here today. And uh, just like AK said, um, the quote struck me. I think it was by Winston Churchill. Yes, Churchill. Absolutely. That failure is not fatal. Mm -hmm. um, it's the will to continue that is much more important. And um, when we talk of business strategy, you know, strategy is so much, it's a buzzword. Mm -hmm. It's a word that is being used. And when we hear strategy, it looks like, ah, you know, you're talking of big companies, not, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm selling yeah, here, I'm right. selling rice. Mm -hmm. Why, what is strategy? Why do so? When we say strategy, a good analogy that I use to explain it, to break it down to business owners is, say, I want to travel from Lagos to Ibadan. Mm -hmm. So my vision is Ibadan. My starting point is Lagos. Now, strategy is saying, how do I want to get from point A to, to B? D. How do I want to move from Lagos to Ibadan? There are so many routes. I can decide to go through Ijebu, through Ekpe. I can through decide Ikorodu. Ikorodu. I can decide to go through Abe Okuta. Mm -hmm. I can go through Lagos, Ibadan Expressway. And I can also even decide to take a flight. I don't know if the airport in Ibadan is functional <laughs> anyway. But I could decide to take a, um, an helicopter. helicopter so, yeah. strategy is being able to decide, okay, how much do I have with me? How fast do I want to get there? Mm -hmm. What do I really want to go and do there? Okay, now I understand that. So which of this transportation meets my need, agrees with my budget, and will get me the solution I want? So if you understand this, then understanding strategy is not that different. So it's all about starting from the vision. And that's why one of the key things we do when we do strategy, strategic planning for complaint is visioning. And many people see it as aspire to perspire. <laughs> why do I need, <laughs> why do I need um, to do vision? Why do I need to understand the vision of my company? Because that is actually, it's just like saying, why do I need an eyesight? Mm. It's what helps you, it's what guides you. It's like your North Star. Mm. It's guide you, it guides everything you do. So when it comes to rebuilding the businesses, now everybody has to go back to the basics. Now the good thing about 2020 is it's been a year of reckoning. It's been a year of going back to the basics. It's been a year of um, breaking the norms. And it's been a year in which everybody has been humbled. Mm -hmm. And when we are humble, what do we go back to? We the go back to our basics. Mm -hmm. We go back to the drawing board. So the first part for every business is out there before starting to chase any fund out there. Now, let me say this there, and uh, I, this is not with any ounce of um, uh, maybe I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. If you get any amount of funding for your business right now, if you're not careful about how you go about it, you'll be back at ground zero General. in the next six months. Mm. Wow. And that's been generous. Why? The economy is shrinking. Purchasing power is very low right now. But consumers are much more conscious of what they buy, mm. who they buy it from, and how it makes them feel. Mm. So if you think money is the bane of all your problems, then you need a reality check. Because that in itself is not the, is not the end. So the first thing is to understand and know that, okay, an assessment. Where am I? Take a stock. And that's what is important to do a business audit. And when we say business audit, it's a bit different from financial audit. Financial audit is the one you do at the end of the year. You Your call numbers. a tax to help you do everything so that you pay little tax to FRS. <laughs> um, but when it comes to business audit, it's more holistic, it's more encompassing, and basically, I look at business audits on the five fundamental pillars of business that I know. Um, and that is starting from your business model to your finances, to your system and processes, to your marketing, and then to your people. Mm. Those are the five fundamental things of business that I know. And I've usually attributed it to the human system. I said business system is like a human system. A business system could be taken as a human system. For the human system, you have the brain. The brain controls all the functions of the business. Mm -hmm. That could be likened to your business model. It's what explains what your business is. It helps you to function, to wire every other part of your business. Then you have the art, which is the beating heartbeat, of, heartbeat the business. of the business. And that is your marketing. No matter what you've created, no matter the idea you have up there in your brain, if your art stops beating today, that is the end. Mm. So marketing is critical. Then the next one is your blood. Your blood is the finances of the business. Mm -hmm. So it's the essence of why you're in business. The cash flow is king. The moment your um, cash flow dries up, you know what? Most of the businesses that are done today, that is not the end. 
as little as you've created trust with your customers, as little as asking your customers to pay ahead of time because of the losses you've suffered could help you kickstart and restart. Mm. So you might not necessarily need to take a loan for that because exactly. your customers already trust you. Yes. So they are paying in advance for what they want to buy from you. And if you've built trust, you've serviced them well, and they understand that this is a real situation you are in, a real mess, a whole lot of Nigerians will help. Mm. You saw how people donated generously during the NSAS protest for an amputee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's not about the solution not being there, it's about you knowing what to do. So cash flow is king. Then the next one is systems. Your systems are like your arteries and veins. They are the ones that carry the um, blood, the uh, blood all around the system of the body. So just like in your business too, your systems and processes, what do you have as your structure in place? Mm. If you have a bowl, no matter how deep the bowl is, no matter the amount of water you have there, if your storage is leaking, you would never have water supply in the house. Mm. And you think the problem is the bowl. Mm. Well, in the reality, your problem is your stories. So, and then the last one is your people. I liken that to your arms, your legs, and your hands. Mm. They are the one who execute everything you have thought out and move the business forward. Mm. So you need to audit the business on all these things and know where do I stand, what do I have left, and then uh, subsequently I will discuss on strategies um, on what you can now do to move forward. Yeah, okay, before yeah. you go into <laughs> strategies, <laughs> there is something that actually struck me when you talked earlier on. It, it had to do with cash flow and um, being king. Now, there is also the context in which we in Nigeria would like to buy things on credit. And most businesses in Nigeria tend to give out credits. So how does this affect um, businesses in Nigeria currently, especially those that have gone downhill during this um, NSAS protest? I think this also caused the question of planning into place. So when you tell business, um, businesses that are starting that you need a business plan, now you have two school of thought, both are extremes, and I don't agree with either of them. You have the school of thought that say you cannot start a business without a business plan. That mm -hmm. is a lie. Without a written business plan, sorry. Mm -hmm. And then but ask them, they're the ones that were asking for business plan. <laughs> yes, without, I'm going somewhere. Mm -hmm. And then there are some people on the other extreme who also believe that you don't need any form of plan to do any business. Just mm -hmm. do it. Mm -hmm. Like that popular brand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just do it. <laughs> uh, like I do say, if you ju just do it, you will just get out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, we see any help. that's mm -hmm. calls into question of plan. And I, where I sit essentially as a business planning expert mm -hmm. is simple. You know what? Your business plan, written business plan, is useless. In fact, before you are done with it, the situation of the market has changed. Mm. The most critical thing you need is that business planning process, mm. which calls into question of, okay, what do I want to do? How do I want to do it? How much do I need for it? Now, to the question you ask about credit. Mm. Now, if you've done your business planning, there's something we call financial model and forecasting, in which helps you to understand, if, I, if I'm selling this good at two naira, how much do I need to sell to break even? Break even means at the point in which I'm not losing mm -hmm. or making, making profit. Mm. Now, how much of this can I give out on credit? Mm. What is the maximum timeline of credit I want to give? What is my credit policy? Or do I give credit to customers that have stayed with me for like six months, which means I've mixed enough resources from you. So even if you don't pay on time, I will know that I'm not essentially losing. Mm. Exactly. So what is your credit policy? Because the default rate can be high. Aye. So for some companies, what they do is they have a, a cash on base. 70% of every sale they make in a month must be cash. 20% mm. must be paid within 30 days. 10, um, maybe 5, um, 9% within the um, next 60 days. And then they put 1% for bad debts mm. wow. for commodity businesses. Mm -hmm. But some businesses don't even need credit. When mm -hmm. people ask for credit most times, it's because the business owner has not been able to position their business the way it should resonate with the customer. Mm -hmm. Most times, it's not because people don't have the money to pay you, it's, except when it is food. Um, <laughs> it's usually coming from a place of, do I trust this person not to take away my money? Exactly. Mm -hmm. And that's happened to me very well at the, when, uh, when I started consulting. So a lot of uh, people, we're doing documentation for them, planning for them. Mm -hmm. um, ah, I have not seen you before. Who have you worked with? Can I pay you 30% up front in the middle, 20%? So what happened? Devaluing your, your service. So what happened, we, we had a high default rate. So by mm -hmm. the time we are done with the document, and what we're doing is intellectual property. Yeah. Exactly. You hand over the document to the that client, the end. and that's when, so you start chasing them. 
for, yeah. money. for money. Up until a point in which you say, okay, you know what? 50% upfront. If you don't trust us enough, take your business as well. Mm. Up to the point now, we say 70% up front. So even upfront. if they don't pay the 30%, you are willing yeah. to let it go. You get it. I right? get it. it. Okay, you know what? I can come to you, please. <laughs> okay. We need to go on a short break. When we return, we'll continue this amazing conversation. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. Thank <laughs> you.